thick only. Right. So just make sure you take the glass plate down when you're traveling. Oh, right. You do yes. not want that bouncing on top of here. No. It's going to make right. a bit of a mess and right. uh, tears okay. and all sorts of things. My wife tends to put it in a bowl with a, a tea towel wrapped yes. around it. Yeah. But I'll just put it down here for now. That'll just stop it bouncing yeah. around. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to think now. Am I going to guess the light? Yeah. So what we've got in here is your regulator for your solar panel. So he's got some nice flashing lights on it. Oh, right. yeah. Okay, top light, it's red at the moment. It can be red or green. That's saying it's giving, red is showing it's giving it 14 half volts at the moment, or the maximum it can give. Mm -hmm. Obviously the battery depends on how good the battery is and what you've got charging, um, or if you've got electric fitted. Uh, if it goes green, it's giving it slightly less. Mm -hmm. Green light flashing has to say it is charging. There will be occasions where them lights go out. One, it's dark, so it's gonna be operating in the, on the, off the moon. <laughs> also, if your battery is fully charged and you've got an electric charger on, obviously them, them can shut down, doesn't need them. And also actually shuts them two lights down. So if you haven't got electric connected and your battery is quite low, it'll actually shut them two little lights off to put all the power to it. As I said, it's not there to, to no. power everything if you've got no electric connected, because no. it will still flat the battery. It's just there really as a top up device for your battery. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. I'm going to say what you've also got, if I can sneak, sneak yeah. past doggies. Come here, doggies. On. There you go. Right, at the back here you've obviously got your towel rail. Mm -hmm. and you can put your hand on that, it's quite warm. And you just be careful when you're sitting there, you've got bare arm and you're leaning against that. It can be quite warm. Well, okay. You've got an, a bleed there for the air bleed. So if you're similar to your domestic at home, if you've obviously got cold at the top, hot at the bottom, then obviously it's got air, air blockage in. Just be careful, obviously it's anti-freeze in there, with an anti-freeze mix. So you need a cloth or something if you do try to bleed it, just make sure you've got a cloth there ready. Okay, electric flush. So it's just obviously 12 volts. So you just press that. You hear that noise? Normally that's that's empty, so you need to go and fill your, your flush tank and your indicator light there to say if your waste tank uh, requires empty. Okay. Okay, light switches just hidden nicely behind there. So you've got your, obviously your shower and uh, hmm. basin otherwise. Okay. Yeah. Light switches, which are there are plenty of. Obviously yeah. there's light switches by the sockets there, look. What, God, there is it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what it does is, you see the floor light down here, you've got yeah. floor light. So that's one of yeah. the switches and also across the top of the lockers. So that, the one on the furthest one is your lockers and then you've got that one down there as well. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. in the, in the yeah, kitchen, the splashback one, mm -hmm. right, you obviously got your spots as well which are individual switched on, on the face of them there. In your kitchen, the one for your splashback and underneath the, the uh, kitchen worktop is that one there. Got one just sitting under here. It's got its own little little switch. The one for above the above the kitchen is this one across here. So by the door, so actually like your entry light. Mm -hmm. The one across the top of the lockers there. You got a light running across the top there. You got a light switch on the left and light switch on the right. See them there, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that one is for your lockers above, and that one's for this one here. And you've also got down there is another floor light, which right at the front here on this console. That should be on now. He says. Yeah. yeah. So the light switch, that little tiny one there, is for that. Hmm. All right. Well, where I meant to ask you, television. Yes. When it's obviously working on battery, where do you plug in? Is it? Is yeah, it? Got oh, that, it's just got, a car jack. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, same as a car. Yeah. I'll have to get one of them from the shop then. Yeah. Mine plugs into oh, like a two-prong. Okay. Uh, yes. I mean, yeah. Plug. Yeah. Yeah. You need the. Some, sometimes, I don't know if it still is, sometimes a customer will leave because when they're new they come with them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that type. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to say normally they come, when they're new they come with them for some reason still. Oh, was that going on? Dropped out somewhere. So that's your, so you, you may be able to wire just straight to that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. No, okay. So that's uh, okay. something yeah, useful. Looks pretty good. Yeah. What you've also got here, apart from the plug, is this here, which is a realignment for the 13 pin. So the 13 pin socket or plug that's on, that obviously connects your vehicle uh, to your caravan. With that, I don't know if you've ever come across that before, the 13 pin, if you don't fully turn it before you pull it out at the back of the car, it can misalign it by that much and you can't get it back in again. This little tool here is for realigning it. So you just put that in and it will real, realign the, the plug that's on your caravan. Okay. Right. okay. So do not leave that at home. No. Keep it with you at all times. Because uh, I had a customer the other week, well, the other week last year even. They went on site, and they said, "Oh, can't." They rang up, says we can't get the plug in the car. I says, "You, got, you remember that little blue 
Blue tool thing. Yeah. Have you got that? No. You take the whole pack out, taking it all out at home, left it at home. So That's they had a to bit go and, silly, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so they had to go and find someone who had one so they could uh, connect it back to the car. Nice. Alright, one thing I didn't mention was your Omnivent. Oh yeah, we had one. Right? Yeah, so it's push button. So you got in or out, or out or in. So you just press that button and it speeds it up. Okay. Yeah. Or if you press the opposite button, it will slow it down, or it will obviously turn and come the other way. Yeah. Also, you got your vent opener there. So just make sure you do close it all the way down before you travel. Yeah. You, don't want, you don't want that flapping about. Okay. And then you just press that. That's your air con, love. Yeah, that's your air con. That's yeah. my air con. Yeah, otherwise it's open the window. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, fantastic. Right. So what we got here, apart from your license or whatever, don't lose that, is uh, a little test to see if you've been listening. That? Oh. Oh, radio. yeah, radio. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm going to say it's reasonably, uh, reasonably standard. But on off button is that one there. So press yeah. on to switch it yeah. on or off. It also scrolls between FM, AM. Okay. And then also you've got searches left and right. Once you volume, you can mute it by just pressing the button. Otherwise, it's just uh, up or down like that. Search left and right for your for your stations. Up or down is for the uh, the channels or the presets even. So you can preset. And then you've also got an outlet for MP3 player if you wanted to. You can plug one of them in, or you've got your CD player with the eject button there. You can eject the front off the radio by just pressing that little button in the corner. Great, good. Right. Yeah. Not that many people actually do that, but you'd be surprised. So yeah. <laughs> right. So what I want to do now is to go through this this sheet here. So what I need to do is go. This is just on explanation of the van. Yeah. You may know things already, or obviously I've explained it. So go through these. Make sure you're happy. Obviously that. Um, that will we'll, we'll go through that again. We we'll connect to your car anyway. I need to sign there, that's to do with the wheel nuts. Obviously mm -hmm. make sure you are checking them regularly. Um, I, as I said, I will check them before you go. Tick through all of these. There's no spare wheel with this. Yes, that should be on the slung, that... should be on the slung, yeah. Fantastic. So tick through all of these. Read and print the sign there. Issue page, if you're not happy with anything, so you're not happy with anything that's not clean enough, any extras should have been fitted or haven't been, or supplied, or service issues. So if there's something like a door hanging off, obviously point it out to yourself. We'll try and get that sorted before you leave. Um, otherwise, you shouldn't shouldn't be any issues. And just print and sign at the bottom of there. Blank page. So another tree gone. Then what we also do, we if uh, Jack mentioned to you, we book you a snagging appointment. So roughly from 30 days from now. So when we when we go back to Jack, we go via yeah. service. Book you that date, which is approximately 30 day in 30 days time. Uh -huh. It could be either or, you know, before or after. It's up to you. No. Obviously, whatever's convenient. As, obviously, as long as you're using the van at that point as well. So you'll be able to. If you come across anything that you're not happy with, give us a ring, then you will bring the van in on that, that particular date that we booked, then anything can be sorted. If there's okay. no issues in that time, obviously you're quite happy, you can actually um, cancel that appointment. Okay. All right. right. Yeah. So have a look through that now, make sure you're happy. The only Tick thing we, eat, we, we will be waiting for is just the, the mattress that Jack's ordered, the new right. mattress for that side. Yeah. yeah, all right. That's the only thing. Yeah. It doesn't stop we'll you from using your van, that, yeah. Oh, no, no, but That's, no. That, that, that's all, all. obviously all in, uh, all in order or whatever, anyway. Okay. Okay, right. So if you want to just do that, then have a look around your van, make sure you're happy. I'm just just turn the gas off and things like that outside right. while you're just doing that. Click that to switch it yeah. up, yeah? Yeah, so just press that.